Hello everyone and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla Wrath of the Druids. Well, I'm in Dublin today with Sikrith after the passing of his father buried. The young king wants nothing more than revenge. It's up to Ivor to counsel him in diplomacy and urge him to cast his sails for King Flan and gain a powerful ally. It's me, Longclaw, Valerian Steel, and today we're on the hunt for two Druid cult members. Azar has a lead on the whereabouts of the children of the Danu leader, the Seed, and we're also going after some Someone called the Deer too. Unlocking these trade routes will help get Dublin closer to its required renown level and give Sigthrith the weapons he needs to support King Flan. So hey ho, it's off to work we go. Let's get into this and see how we get on. Check out my channel for all the other content and the rest of the Wrath of the Druid stuff, as well as all of the Assassin's Creed Valhalla story arcs too. Here we go. So first up, I've brought Ivor to Ardmel to the trade depot here. This is where we're going to start. I think this is my last depot that I need to unlock, and it's part of this mission, which is handy. There are several of these dotted around the map, and each one has three elements which require trade depot materials to make fully operational. And you can get these materials from raiding places like monasteries and camps. Remember, taking control of these trade depots allows Azar, your contact in Dublin, to trade with the international countries for goods. That's basically how the trade system works, and you're trying to raise the renown of the city of Dublin. It's very cool, and once the depot is cleared, you can pick up the clue to the whereabouts of the deer, who is one of the druid cult members that you're after. And of outside the depot, you can also pick up the clue, which will direct you to the deeds that you need to take control of the depot we're heading over to get the deeds first and then we'll come back and deal with the children of danu members most of the trade depots have a series of different uh, enemies sometimes it's uh, gang members bandits and sometimes it's actually the druids themselves who have taken control uh, in this instance we are in really the north of Ulster, and that's where the Druids are really uh, taking control of that area and have caused King Flan and some of the Northern Lords some serious problems, and that's what this is all about. So now we know who our first contact is, the deer, and we can mark him as a target and we know exactly where to go, and he's just going to be north of here. So head over to his, his location and actually there's no fight involved with him, he's just stood in the middle of a field. Uh, but first we want to get our hands on the deeds and sometimes the deeds are in a different place and sometimes you've got to go to a second camp or something like that. But this is just an area called the Gamble which is just outside the, the, the land, just in the sea. You just need to dive down and there's a chest and a key. Get your hands on both and then head back to the cage and get your hands on the deed. It must have been in the pockets of some poor soul who has drowned in that cage. Once you've got the deed, you'll be able to head back to Ardmel and take full control of that depot. And automatically your contact in Dublin Market, Azar will then start trading for honey, I think this one is. You can use whatever materials you have to get the workman's cottage and the storage area up and running. And that gives you a chance to fill up your stocks and your rations, which you should do. And then next up, we're going to go and take out our first target, the, the deer. And he is stood like a deer in the middle of a field and doesn't even react as I approach him. It's a little bit weird. I expected more of a challenge, but take him out. 
and he will reveal a clue which leads you to your next target which is the seed and this is a slightly more high ranking target which may help to uncover the who is leading the children of danu to get your hands on the seeds location you need to come to this monastery which is close by and raid it i've bought the whole crew so that we can take advantage of all the trade materials which i know are inside and hopefully somewhere inside as well is the clue that i'm looking for raiding monasteries is fun and easy and it's very rewarding i really enjoy doing it because you can't do anything without those trade materials and that's where you get them from for this dlc i did a lot of raiding in the original game the assassin's creed valhalla and for most of the story arcs just to keep my settlement going uh, but for this we're using the the raid for a slightly different purpose so get it done get all of those locations unlocked and then pick up the clue which leads to the final location which is another camp you're going to need to go and visit Incidentally, get your crew organized before you start taking on the trips to Ireland and this DLC because you want to have a crew that is full of your best warriors just to make these raids easy, uh, easier. And the crew are actually very handy if you're doing certain missions. You can call in your longship from anywhere, and I often do, just to make it a little bit easier, particularly if I'm going to clear an area and I want help. I want to be able to run around and get all of the loot, and I want to leave the crew to take on any of the bad guys inside once you've got all of the trade post supplies unlocked there is some pretty cool gear that you can get your hands on as well there's my clue and in this door to the right here it will basically unlock a, a druid helmet which you really want to get your hands on it's very cool and now we know who our contact is the seed um he is located in a camp again just just to the north of here uh, we're heading up as pretty much far as the, the northern reach of the map goes and that's probably our last area in this dlc to unlock um when you do when you have got your final uh, case open uh, with all of the treasure you could send your crew back to the ship and that's Movilla Abbey and that's all done uh, just one final thing to get hands on this treasure run around the back of the building and shoot the door you know how this works usual stuff and once you've shot the door you can then get your hands on the helmet and it's all over to go and take out the seed now at this stage we should be considering our approaches are we going in covertly are we going in heavy you can see with me um as my usual approach i'm going in quite heavy because i believe that ivor is a viking and all of his crew of vikings are they really going to creep around and sneak around i don't think so maybe we'll get to that maybe we're going to have to adapt to a different approach for the siege of paris which is the next dlc but for this one forget about it i'm going in like a viking so we're over at Dun dunversvik um and this is where the seed is located you can see you've already marked him as a target on your map he should be standing somewhere inside now he is not standing in a field he is there ready to take you on in a fight and he's quite a contender but use your favorite abilities to weaken him and then take him out and get your hands on that confirmed kill there are plenty of bad guys around and a fair bit of loot as well and not forgetting a, an ability which is unlocked by going downstairs you need to break the the downstairs hatch and jump down into the hole and you'll be able to get your hands on the ability now as far as abilities go we must have unlocked pretty much most of them now but the interesting thing here abbot ian is the oak who is running the the children of danu and the, the head person in that cult now this is interesting because he is the probably the highest ranking christian leader and king flan has just discovered that he is an enemy that cannot be trusted and now we know also that he is heading up the children of danu who are a faction that is against the christian faith one final task is to head over to azar and trade everything we can because i want to really increase that renown and i think the max renown you need to look at for dublin is five and i'm not sure if there are other areas or whatever but this is it we've managed to trade enough goods so that dublin has now raised its renown to five now let's see what happens next i don't know if i have to continue to raise that renown but this has been great and we're moving through this dlc quite fast i'll be got, coming back with another video very soon check out my resident evil video for tomorrow take care